I mean, if you look at the development of China, if you look at the overall economic development, social development, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the developments that we see in innovation, it is highly impressive. Yeah. I don't think that any global company can afford not to be part of the innovation system in China. Innovation is why we exist. We want to work with AI leaders, we want to work with Chinese biotech companies, we want to work with Chinese semiconductor companies. We want to also invest. We have, we're just setting up a, a, a China-specific venture fund with uh, uh, 100 million RMB mm -hmm. and uh, we have a very good history of being uh, a good venture capital manager and we think we can also support Chinese industry in that respect. Well, China is already our second largest market. China is the most vibrant innovation ecosystem these days. We're focusing on the three sectors that I mentioned, mm -hmm. biopharma, life science, performance, uh, performance materials. We think that more and more innovation will come out of China. We see, for instance, in the biotech field, if you look at cell therapy, a majority of clinical trials are being conducted in China. We expect that in a few years that something like 50% of new biotech startups and new biotech projects will be, uh, will be coming out of China. So China is the place to be. But there are challenges. You know, we see that uh, we, we've seen a great progress, for instance, with regard to the regulatory environment in China. We've seen progress uh, when it comes to uh, intellectual property protection, but the degree of competition is becoming uh, is becoming higher. And typically, our partners, or the companies we work with, they're at the same time they are our customers, they are our partners, and they are our competitors. Mm -hmm. It's a very co it's a it's a very complex situation. Only the best companies will survive in this environment.